Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, wherever you have this planetary placement in your chart, claim it only if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, don't be a god bone and force fit because there is sick, thick, dense energy on YouTube. It is a worldwide platform, so sharing is caring. And speaking of worldwide, whoever you are, wherever you are on this planet, Sagittarius, shout out to you. We see you, we acknowledge you, we really are grateful for your presence. So thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. And whether or not anybody else has told you this, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. All right, now let's hit this. But before we do, let me just tell you something. The cards have been shuffled already because they're huge. I'm going to mix them up a little here, though. And uh, yeah, there's that. All right, clearing ground. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, there's no genitalia in town. So, you know what? There's masculine and feminine energy. Anybody can be resonating in either or at any time. Take the energy as it applies. It's my job to give it to you. It's your job to apply it if it applies. Don't force fit. Also, I'll read out the most predominant signs that's coming along with this, but don't get too caught up on that because anybody could be in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus at any time, right? Show me the energy. All right, Sag, here we go. Let me say, whoa, page of wands. All right, so some kind of exuberant, outgoing, excited, creative, free spirit, either person, or if it's a message, it's an upbeat, happy message, maybe giving somebody some incentive about something. There's a five of wands. Competition, conflict, fights, battles, Leo energy, struggles, disagreements. Oh, boy. So you could be dealing with an immature Leo, or somebody that has a Leo in their chart that's immature, that's causing a lot of conflict. The tower just fell out. We're going to take it. At the foundation of this situation, there was a surprise, a shock, something somebody didn't see coming, okay? Some kind of upheaval, some kind of calamity, some kind of revelation, Scorpio and Aries energies. Somebody, somebody could have got some kind of a head injury, like literally like... Some kind of a head injury. You could have cracked their head right open somehow. Here, the devil. Capricorn energy. Oh, my God. So some kind of toxicity. Some kind... Oh, God. What's going on here? Some kind of shock and surprise about somebody's addictions, maybe. Obsessions. Some kind of uh, manipulation. It's looking like some kind of weird sex addiction. Um, but, you know, it's a devil. So it could be anything. Whatever you perceive the devil to be and then some... Now you have what? The eight of coins in reverse. So this is an energy of not wanting to put any work or effort into something. It's about being lazy. It's about being misdirected. You know, somebody might, there might be a shock and a surprise here where somebody finds it out about somebody's addictions or something like this, obsessions, whatever it is that they're dealing with. And this is why somebody's not putting the work in. They're lazy, perhaps. Unmotivated, unskilled. Show me what's going on here for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Well, listen, we are going to clarify, so don't get discouraged yet. Let me say, show me. Show me. Thank you. Here we go. You got the love is Gemini. Well, somebody might not put any effort. Okay, well, the Ten of Coins is in your environment, so that's good. Here, you have some kind of a decision to make. This is about a desire, a relationship, a union, passion, a romance, a soul tie, right? But it's also about making a decision about it. In your actual environment, you do have the Ten of Coins. So financial stability, you know, um, material, stabilis, blah, blah, material stability, some kind of family, legacy, roots. Inheritance, perhaps. Traditions. This thing, this people out there with that thing, I'm going to swear to God, I can't. Every time it gets quiet, I start to work. And then as soon as I start with the cards, they're, they're over there buzzing again. I'm going to go buzz them in a minute. Okay, so here we go. You got a queen of wands. It's kind of coming in on the shelf. But, you know, as an energy, we're going to put it up right as an advice. Because whoever I'm talking to, you could be a fire sign, particularly Aries, because the queen of wands is Aries. But, you know... Perhaps it's time to be more optimistic and dynamic. Perhaps it's time to be more creative and a visionary. Take control of a situation. Have confidence, optimism, charismatic attitudes of passion. You know, be formidable. Here, yeah, 
There's a page of coins. There is some kind of a new beginning. It could be in a financial area, all right? But it's it's going to be very solid, whatever this is. All right? Somebody's got a little boy that looks like Harry Potter here. Somebody's wearing those round red glasses. Somebody's definitely into some kind of gothic situation here. I'm hearing strange land. Strange land. What is that? I think that's some kind of a movie. Who is in this? D. Snyder. So somebody's name could be D. Somebody's name could be Snyder. Somebody could like that movie, Strange Land. I don't know why I would think of that. Somebody could have got a head injury here. Somebody might be deer hunting. I don't know. But whatever this is, we're going to find out. At the bottom of the deck. Oh, my own. Well, here you go. Third party situations, manipulation, lies, cheating, heartbreak, loss, betrayal, emotional pain. Somebody stop putting the work in, maybe because it's some kind of toxic behavior. This is going to be a shock and a surprise. Somebody's going to find out about this, all right? And drugs and I'm hearing, you know, yeah, threesomes and all kinds of things. It does come a night of coins, though. So whatever this new beginning is, especially if it's financial, it's just going to be a slow-moving but very grounded, reliable, serious situation. You are dealing with a queen of swords, and uh, let's see what's going on here. How about it? So the signs we have are really Aries and Gemini, Leo and Scorpio and Capricorn. Guys, while I'm shuffling this, it's a moment of silence. Please and thank you very seriously. I cannot articulate the gratitude enough. Could you hit the like and subscribe? It's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purposes only. And uh, it would be really nice of you. And we would be really grateful. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now that I baked and bought it and did whatever I had to do. Brown nose for buttons. Right? Here we go. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Sagittarius. All right. Good. Here we go. Show me the energy. All right, Saz, let's see what we have going on here. I'm going to get you a binaural beat. Maybe we'll draw some kippers, a couple of letters, and we'll get you out of here fast today. Show me. Thank you. Can you give me anything else? Let's, you know, yeah. All right, so let's see what we have. We have, mm-hmm. So somebody's dead tired. They need to get some sleep. They need to find a sanctuary, rejuvenate. We got a four of cups here. Perhaps... Take some time out to contemplate. Um, somebody could be disgusted with something, and this is why they need to take time by themselves. You see how tired this person looks? Well, this person, you know, it's not just about being disgusted with what in front of them or being ungrateful, because that's usually, and, you know, it's about contemplation, but this person looks dead ass tired, probably because nothing's satisfying them. So it's time to take that time. Make sure you take care of yourself first, okay? There's the Six of Pentacles here. So this is about generosity and support. Whether it's material, material, materialistically, monetarily, or just emotionally, you know, somebody here could have support or be giving support to somebody who's probably just this person looks bone tired to me. This person only looks. I'm getting four of swords energy off that card, okay? Not four of cups, but it is four of cups. So even if you need whatever you're doing, get some rest and then do some contemplating your future, right? Yeah, there's gonna be a breakthrough in the situation, so that's good. Show me. Okay, good. We're going to take them, guys. So, in a situation where there was something that was not balanced, okay? There's going to be a breakthrough in that. Two of Pentacles in reverse. There was some kind of... Maybe somebody was overcommitted. Some kind of chaos. There was an imbalance, okay? Someone needed to get themselves on solid ground. Now, here you go. You got a King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This is somebody that's very loving, somebody caring, somebody emotionally mature and balanced. Somebody's going to be very supportive, affectionate. Could be a father or a father figure. Doesn't have to be, though. Yeah, you got a princess of cups. So that's also good. That's like a big sister. Somebody also supportive, kind. This is somebody maybe coming in to ask somebody to go out, you know, even just to be friends, although cups does denote emotions. However, whether this person has any kind of feelings they want to explore or not, they're not going to come in like that. It's going to be very, you know, yeah, I'm putting this back because I don't know which way they went. Um... Very innocent, like, you know? So somebody, it could even be that, yeah, somebody's coming in maybe to make friends with somebody here. Now, wherever it goes from there is who knows where, right? So let me see what's going on here. Somebody could be feeding ducks in the park, like walking in the park, feeding ducks as a queen of swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Whoever this person is, they could be divorced, they could be single. This person is very honest and quick thinking, perceptive, independent, objective, fair and balanced, smart and articulate, all right? So this person thinks about what they're doing. They think about, they know everything. They think about everything. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So show me. Give me two more for the top, please and thank you. 
you know. I don't know, guys. Let's see. So you got an eight of torches in reverse, which means something is losing some kind of momentum around here. All right, there's a lack of fast forward movement. That's losing momentum. Yeah. Show me. And, oh, well, somebody's going to take a new leap of faith here. Aries energy. Somebody's jumping off the cliff. They're going to let go and let God. Spirit's got them. They know it. This is some kind of new beginning, maybe something adventurous, free-spirited, spontaneous. They're going for it. Why? Because something's losing momentum here. They thought about this. Whoever, you know, so now you got Aries energy. Somebody thought about this because something's just not moving fast enough. And if you, let me just tell you something, Sagittarius, whether you got Aries in your chart or not. It's the Gemini for the lovers. Again, um... You know what? You want things yesterday, right? I want it yesterday. I'm hearing I wanted it yesterday. Yeah, again with the lovers. But uh, show me what's coming in then. So somebody, yeah, somebody, somebody's losing momentum. Somebody's not putting any work in here. Decision needs to be made. And it looks like, you know, somebody's going in a new direction here. Okay, there's a red, uh, one of those red cardinals right outside the window. Hear it? Seven of torches. So standing your ground, being resilient and persistent. There could be competition in a situation. There was a red cardinal sitting right, right. You hear it? It's right outside the window. So that may mean something to somebody. The lovers. Now, listen, you saw me put this back. So somebody, there's a Gemini energy here, right? Wherever it is, maybe on both sides. There's a decision that has to be made about some kind of a soul contract here. And it looks like somebody's being very defensive. There could be a lot of competition. Maybe that's why somebody's sitting, not making a decision fast enough. Somebody could have beautiful, long, like whitish blonde hair or gray hair, but it's long. It's really nice. Show me. Somebody's heart could be a little cold here. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah, somebody could have like a little bit of a cold heart. All right, so here you got the Empress in reverse. Mm -hmm. Well, Taurus energy for somebody who's very insecure, they lack confidence. Maybe that could be another reason for some of you why, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Why somebody's not being very, not making this decision. But maybe it's because they're fearing reject, rejection. I don't know what the hell. I can't speak today. Yeah. Some kind of lack of confidence. Some kind of lack of growth. Some kind of, you know, the Empress is needy. The Empress in reverse. Everything they touch turns to shit, not to gold. I can tell you that. So it's the opposite of being fertile. There's a new, oh, there's a new emotional awakening here. Look at this. An Ace of Cups. Something. Some kind of intimacy. Some kind of spirituality. Something. You know, the opportunity for love. Be careful if you're dealing with an empress in reverse, though. That's somebody who's emotionally manipulative. All right, show me. Okay, here we go. So, it's this one. Four of Pentacles, holding back. Somebody, some of you might be holding back from this. Four of Pentacles talks about, um, you know, well, it's my card of constipation, although this person doesn't look constipated. But the Four of Pentacles talks about, you know, being frugal, not overspending, not letting people know what you're thinking, although the head chakra is not covered, but, you know... Usually with the pentacles, all the chakras are covered. I'm seeing a burning bush. Something about a burning bush. What is that? Moses? I don't know. Something could be happening in the morning. Oh, spirits said do it this way. So at night. Okay, here we go. So at night. Something could be happening at night for some of you. Some of you could be getting some information, phone calls, some kind of communication. Now, it could be communication and downloads from dreams, right? going to sleep and dreaming. Some of you could be facing your emotions at night. Maybe you're having a difficult time at night. Maybe you're not sleeping at night, right? And some of you might be stargazing, looking up at the stars. Some of you might be up all night crying, literally, okay? So it's going to be different for everybody. Somebody might have a red scarf that they like to wear. Here we go. So when you wake up in the morning, let's just say, let's just say, um, what am I hearing now? Touch me in the morning. Something about being touched in the morning. Okay, listen to me. Some of you might be having sex in the morning. I don't know. Here's the thing. You could be getting downloads in dreams or some kind of um, some kind of downloads at night, whether you're sleeping or not. Maybe you're meditating or you're just laying there and things are coming to your head. But when you wake up in the morning, you're enlightened to something here, okay? Some of you might be getting a phone call or hearing something on the news or something like this. 
at night, where in the morning it's going to be like all over the place. Could be have something to do with fire. Um, some of you might like to sleep in the morning. You might get your better sleep in the morning. Yeah. So, there's, you know, there could be something happening at night that's affecting your morning. You feel me? So there's that. Uh, but, you know, I would keep a pet pen and pad by the bed and write down whatever I remembered in my dreams because they could be significant because they could be some kind of a download. I'm hearing, come on, baby, light my fire. What is that? Try to set the night on fire. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hope nothing's burning, all right? Um, last time I saw this, New Jersey was burning, so I don't know what to tell you. Here's the King of Swords. Okay, so now you got the king to the queen almost directly underneath each other. There's some kind of soulmate. Some of you might be waking up in the morning to your soulmate. And I'm not saying tomorrow morning. I'm just saying. Maybe you're dreaming about this person at night. You're dreaming about each other. All right. Now, this one's sword is up. This one has the sword of truth. They're, this one's ready to chop your head off if you lie to them. Because they already know. This person's sword is down, so they don't really want to fight. So that's really good. They know the truth, but they're calm about it. Somebody's got really big hands. I'm seeing really big hands. Okay, three, six, seven, eight, one. Um, show me. One more on this and we'll hit that page of coins. This is a new beginning. Could be between the soulmates. The king and the queen of swords with the lovers twice. I mean, that's soulmates, all right? Somebody just needs to take a new leap of faith here. This is, somebody's got little purple boots. Somebody likes to run around outside in their bathroom. What is that? Somebody might have a blue bag that they like to carry around. Show me. Okay, there's an eight of cups. Ay, ay, ay. So this is about being, this is about detaching and walking away from whatever was behind you to go find your ninth and tenth cup of fulfillment. So somebody could be detaching here. Maybe that's why there's a lack of uh, momentum. Let me see. Give me the three at the end. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Somebody's got some purple hair that they dyed it purple. I'm hearing splat. <laughs> splat. I don't know. Nine of torches. Resilience. Perseverance. Nine of torches talks about uh, the last stance. Being successful at almost being done with the burdens, but really being tired. Something is, okay, you got Leo energy for happiness. Something might be illuminated to somebody here with the sun coming up. But, um, yeah. Also, it's about happiness. The sun is the happiest card in the deck, according to everybody, right? Positivity, freedom, joy, op optimism, vitality. Somebody's coming to the end of some burdens here, and it's going to be um, happy, happy. You got a ten of cups. Here we go. Nice. So happiness, contentment, emotional fulfillment, domestic harmony. That is a happy ending right there. Yeah, you got a princess, a prince of pentacles again. Okay, so that's. That's a new beginning. Again, that's somebody who's going to... Listen, this person could be taking their time coming in, but when they do, it's going to be a happiness. It's going to be hot, solace, healing. You know, a reason to celebrate. The reason why they're doing it is because they're... A, you know, maybe they could be mending some kind of a broken heart. Somebody must have did something to somebody, you know, in the shadow here. And it confused somebody. But uh, it looks like right now... Somebody's manifesting some kind of a new beginning here that's going to be very successful, make somebody very happy and emotionally fulfill somebody, all right? So we bar begged and bartered for the buttons. Let's do some kippers now. Kipper, what do you have to add to this for Sagittarius? You have somebody, okay, there's a courtship on the table, number four. Uh, 28 or 10, somebody could be expecting anything from a letter, mail, a person, a phone call, a baby. There's a new pathway opening up, 35 or 8. Somebody could be 53 here. Uh... You know what? There's light at the end of the tunnel. There's a rebirth going on. That's Leo energy. Yeah, there's a great fortune. And sudden wealth came out together. All right, you've seen that. I can't make it up. 26 or 8, <clears throat> 11 or 2. Wow. So some kind of great fortune and some kind of sudden wealth. I mean, you know, listen, that's a lot of different things. Yeah, it could be wealth like finances or material goods. It could be the wealth of good health if you're sick, right? So, you know, everything's not about monetary... Uh, yeah. So, now, somebody's held somebody in high honor here. Somebody could be in the military or the law. Um, somebody could be buying rims. <laughs> oh, God, I'm hearing rims. All right, so uh, 25 or 7, 52. This could be somebody older because I'm getting, like, Civil War vibes. There's a main female 
two. And again, great fortune. Somebody's coming into some money over here, all right? I'm really serious. So you got 26 and 8, 26 and 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 8, 8 right here. That's going to be your binaural beat, your frequency healing sound bath. And that's to remove any negativity. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. God, did you see that? Wow. All right, guys. Well, there's a mess. That just messed up my OCD. I'm like bugging right now. <laughs> okay. One more for this. Let's close it up. Now I got to gotta close it up. I can't look at the cards like this. Hurry. Let's go. Yeah. Last but not least, somebody's thinking about somebody. Uh, 16 or 7. Somebody might have to go on a journey. There's a wealthy man. There might be a court situation. Somebody could be in bad health. Sudden wealth again. High on. A main female just starting to repeat. All right. What did I say? I was going to get your letters. I don't want to be a lawyer. All right. Here we go. All right, then not too many. We don't want to get crazy. We have GX. Yeah, I'm hearing Gen X. Gen X. What is that? It's a generation thing, right? Okay, Gen X. So G E N X F L. I'm hearing Lennox. Lennox. Lennox Avenue. Lennox China. Two L's. I'm hearing follow. I'm Fallon. Phallix. Oh, a phallic symbol. Okay, well, there's that. You got two A's. What else do we have? A P. I'm hearing pal, pal, somebody could be pal. All right, here we go. Two A's and an E. You have a G, an N, an X, two C's, an F, two L's, a Y, and a P. All right, thank you so much. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity, act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light, guys.